software. Okay. Repeat the same. So data profiling is one of the important tasks as part of your uh, ETL uh, task. So uh, it is the process of understanding more about the data. Okay. The why the question is why should I do the data profiling? So one of the advantages of doing uh, data profiling is to improve the quality of your data. That is what the main objective of data profiling. In Power BI, we have uh, various options are available. So this one, you know, the the options, uh, those options, right, uh, can help us to find out uh, at a high level uh, where the problem is. In case your data has any error in it, then you cannot use the data as, a, as is to create the visual or something like that, okay? I just load this data set, sales by customer.csv in Power BI Desktop. So done. So this data set um, got loaded. If I switch to the data view, I should be able to see the data for this data set. Let's take a look at uh, this data set and see if we can find out anything here. And we can see two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, two, four, uh, six, eight, nine records are there. Nine records are there. And we have the date data type, and then we have uh, Boolean data type, and then we have the this one, the integer data type. And this is our string data type, right? So if I go to the home ribbon and uh, when I navigate here and if I go to the Power Query editor, and here in the Power Query editor, under the view tab, so we need to turn on something called column quality and column distribution. I just, uh, you know, disable this one and uh, I just redo it one, one more time. If I in a select that option, column quality, so we can see that uh, just beneath the, in between the data and the column name, we'll find three things here, valid and error and empty. How many number of records you have empty in it? And um, here, if you see valid, error, so we don't see any error in all the columns. Okay, and we can see that this is kind of a text data type. Okay, let it be there. So what I will do is I will just um, try to convert. This is something like a month date year. Yes, month date year. And I just do simple. I just go and convert the day data type. Here you can see null and error. I just, for the time being, I replace the error by something like the zero. Yeah, zero will not work here. And uh, here nothing can be done. Okay, here. 25.5, okay, they, we, can't, we couldn't process uh, this data set. Oh, month, date, year format, okay, okay. okay. So what I will do is I just undo this. Okay, better. I will go and do it there, there itself in the OS5 for the time being. You should not have the mix of uh, month, date, year, and uh, date, month, year format. Everything should be considered. I could have done it there itself. Look here, this is the one, right? So, yeah, what I will do is I'll just change it here. Five. 
I just save this here and then if I go here and refresh it, if I go here and uh, this is the record, okay, and if I refresh it, you will get the up-to-date information here, 525, 20, whatever the changes I made in my uh, Excel file or CSV file, when you hit the refresh button, it will, you know, it will repopulate here, okay. And I just go and select transform data. Yes, fine. We have a null. Let it be there. Okay. And here, uh, if you see here, if you go to the view tab and column quality already enabled, and we can see the error empty records. We can see 33 percentage of the values in this column were empty. And uh, in this column, 33 percentage of the values were empty here because the null. And if you see the data file here, Yeah, if you see the data file here, and already I put null here, and here you need sold. If you see here, you need sold. I did not specify null in my data set, but uh, since we have the blank value in this column, it uh, assigns the null automatically. The when power when when you load the data, in the case of Power Query Editor, it replaces the blank value by null. Okay. But uh, in 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 some uh, in some columns, I mentioned the null explicitly in the data set. Okay, and if you look here uh, in the sales column, just below eight four eight two, the null is considered as a null. Okay, so it is not going to do anything here. And uh, now now we will take a look at uh, this one. Eleven percent is empty. Okay, and we have only one record, only one value is blank here. And uh, next, what I do is. Okay, now uh, we don't see any error in all these five columns. Good. So we got a good idea about uh, the quality of the data. So we don't see any error here, but we have empty values are there. That is very common. Empty values will be there, right? So not necessarily all the column you should have data in it, but uh, data birth should not have null value in it. So there, there is some data issue. Okay, the, someone deleted the data or they would not have enter the date of birth in the application front-end application system while filling uh, the data or you know while getting this information they did not fill it fine so now this is giving me an idea okay we don't see any error good so but we have empty record let it be there and next i select the view button here <clears throat> and, repent. and when i click on the column profile and if you see here so currently the date of birth got selected it shows count of nine. So what is count of nine here? So the, okay, the, one second, here the column profile and column quality. Okay, so the column quality, so in, with the help of the column quality, we can see that, so this is the one displays the percentage of uh, valid, uh, valid versus error versus empty data. So in a perfect world, 100% of the data will be valid, will not be valid, okay. Uh, but in the, okay, now we are, what we are looking at is uh, this one, the column profile. So this is the one displays more in-depth overview of the column. So it gives us the count of um, rows. So if you see here in this column, we have three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it, uh, the, kind of, it counted the null value also in this case. Um, we can also find out the number of empty rows. Okay. And uh, we can see the minimum and maximum value. So here, and we can see the average also. So the minimum is the least date. Okay. 1980, 11, 11, 1980, 
Mm. What is this? But uh, eight three nineteen eighty is there. Okay, minimum and uh, maximum is nine eleven. Uh, if you keep the cursor here, it will show you. They're not showing. You. Probably you can expand it. You can copy it and see it. Okay, nine eleven nineteen ninety five. That is the maximum. Last but the second record, uh, 11, 11, 1980. According to the, this is the minimum value, 11, 11, 1980. Okay, and this is 1990. So this is 80. When you hover the cursor here, you can see that. And now I just select the customer name column. I just selected the customer name column and we can see the value distribution. So here also we can see the value distribution. So here uh, it is something like, you know, uh, all the distributions are same. But error is zero here and empty is one. It shows empty is one, the null and distinct uh, is nine and uh, unique is nine and minimum maximum. Okay, we will discuss about the distinct and unique uh, in a little, in a, in a while. Okay, so in, if I select the customer's name, the customer name related column statistics are displayed here. Okay, and here the count is nine. Yes, obviously we have nine records are there. Nine values should be there. It takes into account of the blank value. So error, we don't see any error, any, we don't see any empty value here. Look here, this is the one you need to take a close look at it. Empty is zero here. Okay, and so, but we have empty value here, right? So you might be thinking this is empty value, but it shows empty is zero. And distinct is seven. And um, unique is six and the empty string is one look here you need to note you need to note this point empty string is one when it comes to text data it is not considering the blank value as an empty it considers the blank value as an empty string so that's why the one is here but when you look at uh, sorry when you when you when you take a look at sorry when when you take a look at this unit sold if you see here empty three, it considers the null value as three. But whereas uh, here or the blank value, okay? But here uh, what happens is in this case, the blank value is nothing but the null, but it is not considering that as a null here, but it is considered as an empty string or text data type. You need to remember this, okay? But this, this should not be considered as blank value this is this should be considered as a string empty string in the case of text data okay that is the reason why i was very particular about uh, opening this data set and everything is fine this one uh, you know it will be uh, you know difficult to interpret for non programmers okay and uh, the next step is hope you understood what is empty string and empty in this case and distinct is 7 unique is 6 what is uh, distinct and uh, what is um, but we have nine values are there, but it shows distinct seven and unique six. A distinct says the total number of uh, different values, irrespective of the fact that how many number of times it appears in the data set. That is what the distinct shows. What is unique? Unique shows us the total number of values that appears only once. Okay, I just... Um, Explain you distinct. So in this case, uh, how many number of times each values are displayed? How many unique values are there? So the typical unique values, Baron one time, okay, one name, and Larry is two. And again, Baron is uh, you know appearing here. You're not supposed to consider this one, okay? And do you have something called true? This is different compared to uh, you know other previous values. True is completely different. And uh, 22 is different compared to other values. Baron is repeating. Let's not, you know, it's not supposed to take into account. And the next one is uh, Rage and uh, Chris and uh, null value. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, got it? So that is what you are distinct. In simple term, if you remove the duplicates and if you count, how many, simply I will do it here. Look here, I'll just um, remove the blank, uh, not the blank. Here you cannot uh, do the right. 
So I just, uh, barren, we could see duplicate. I just remove it. So how many records are there? How many values? Six. If we encode bar barren, seven. Okay, but you're not supposed to uh, count uh, the number of occurrences of barren. That is not our intention here. Okay, we are, we, we are particular about how many number of unique values are there. Okay, but in this case, though barren is appearing more than one time, we will consider only one value of barren. That is what you are distinct. Whereas unique is pretty straightforward. If you have any duplicate records, simply ignore that one. So do barren, we have duplicate values. Simply to ignore that. Okay, and if you exclude barren, what will happen? Six records, six values. Okay, but you don't see any repetition of the same value. That is what is unique. Hope you understood the difference between uh, unique and uh, distinct. So the unique is pretty straightforward. If any of the name is appearing more than one time, simply ignore that name because that is not a uh, unique value. So it has a duplicate value. Exclude that and then the uh, rest of the values will be counted. That is what you are unique. In the case of distinct, it will find out the the unique, even though you have duplicate values, of those duplicates will take uh, into account of only one value. Okay. So in this case, seven, the unique. So hope you understood the difference between distinct and unique. And the next one is um, this one. Uh, if you see the value distribution, with this itself, you can understand the tallest rectangle. Uh, you, with this, you can find out the barren is appearing more time. Okay, which means the barren is the uh, one, uh, let's say, you know, is the rep uh, repetitive customer. You know, he purchases more frequently compared to other customers. You just think that 22 is not a customer. I intentionally put 22 true and all numeric value and uh, this one, the Boolean value, all the things for some other reason. Okay, and now we will select uh, unit sold. And if you see here, the same thing, count six and empty two. We have, um, we can see the empty two here, one, two, and it's supposed to be three and distinct six uh, unique, N-A-N is considered zero, zero is one. Zero is appearing only one time, max is 15. And for the numeric column or quantitative variable, it will gives you the five number summary, minimum, maximum, Average standard deviation, uh, two, three, four. Yes, four, four numbers summary, not five numbers summary. It is not giving Q1, quartile one and all. Okay, so minimum, maximum, average standard deviation. That is average and standard deviation. Uh, you can use these two measures only on the numeric variable. And even is five times, odd is one time. And here uh, the empty is two. It shows empty is two. Something, okay, count is six. If you look at the count, what, what you can understand here? In the case of uh, numeric variable, it is ignoring the null value. Count doesn't take into account of null value. So you are left with three and three, six values are there. Okay. And um, yeah, empty is uh, two here. Even in this case, I'll just select this one here. The empty is three and null, null three times are there. But uh, I don't know, this is the latest version. I installed it yesterday. And why there is a confusion here. So you have null, null, null. Three times the empty should be, whereas it shows two times. And here it shows um, one, two, three. It is correct. In this case, empty is three. And we have uh, distinct value seven is there and unique six is there, correct. Uh, and uh, unique is six and the distinct value is Mm, uh, seven okay so do you find any duplicate here null is the duplicate right so null is the duplicate here uh, and um, it's a unique in this case so this is the unique value unique value three and uh, four five six unique values are there okay and the distinct it takes into account of uh, null also null since null is repeating more than one time Unique is not considering null at all. Okay, if you exclude null, you are left with six. And in the case of distinct, you have seven values. It 
uh, you know dough null is repeating more than one time it, ta it takes into account of only one value here so that is fine but empty is three is fine but here something wrong here okay so the null uh, is empty is considering two and can you see anything else here something wrong here null is something wrong here and if i select active here this is a boolean data type and if you see here more number of uh, true values are there and false is less because we have only one rec value for false here and uh, we have a lot of null values are there so three four five null values are there empty it shows three only in this case in this case it shows only three empty and a distinct three and unique one in this case unique is one which one false only one since true as duplicates null as duplicates it's simply ignoring it distinct is three okay though uh, null is repeating more than one time it takes only one null and true is only one it takes and false is everything is fine but uh, the empty is showing three here but in the older version you know we don't see this kind of confusion error is zero we don't see any error in all the columns we don't see any error okay so there is a problem here uh, in this case it shows uh, empty is three okay and let me just go and check the data set and in this case active if you look at the active column so we are two four so actually in this uh, column null in the blank values in the place of blank values it replaced the null automatically by the power bi desktop power bi right power query editor and here we can see that mt is three this is something uh, you know, strange. But uh, in the previous version, it was showing correctly. But in this version, something wrong. That is the reason, right? See, in September, they introduced new features. Every new features, uh, you need to be, uh, you know, uh, you need to uh, check uh, how, uh, you know, accurately it is doing it. But uh, to my knowledge, it's, there is something wrong here. In the empty cannot be three. And I don't know in what, uh, did they make any other changes and unit sold. But the problem is here sales. Look here, sales and unit sale. Unit sold, sales. In this in the sales column, we have three, six, and one null. Uh, you know, we have odd coded two null. Okay. In the sales column, we have odd coded the null. Hence it considered uh, the empty as three, one, two, three. But whereas in the case of unit sold, uh, we did not uh, specify null here in the data set, unit sold. So one, two, one second, let me just. Okay, we have only two null values. Okay, two null values. Okay, 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 okay correct. But uh, why it is putting additional null here? Uh, we have only two nulls, it's correctly doing, it's not a version problem. And here, it is a blank record, okay? It's completely blank. Hence, it replaced replace that one as blank here, null. Okay, here empty string and it is null, but it is not um, taking into account of this null here. Okay, empty is two and says empty is two. Okay. It is not considering uh, the blank value at all, but uh, in the, see here, right? But here in this case, it is taking into account of the blank value, null, null, null. Okay, and it replaced this one as a null. And here also it should have replaced the null. It, has, it did a null. One, two, three should come here. But uh, only uh, we are getting two empty values. Probably we'll check with the, you know, the manual also. Okay, one more time. And I don't know whether they have updated the manual. Let me just check. We'll go and check it. Even the previous version, see all the other batches, I used to use this data set only. I'm pretty sure. So here, uh, where is the, we are very particular of empty. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just see the empty here. Empty shown in dark gray. Mm. Okay. Unexpected shown in dashed red. 
an unknown shown in dashed green. Okay, so apart from this, if you hover the cursor here, and each and every column, right? In the here, if you hover the cursor here, remove empty. You can see valid percentage error percentage one empty. And remove, uh, if you see here, uh, remove duplicates, keep errors. Uh, here, we don't have to do anything here. If you hover the cursor here, you can see valid percentage error percentage empty. Percentage, all this, you know, whatever you see it here, you can see it. But only thing is here, you can remove the empty. When you click on these three dots, you will get a context menu. This is called your context menu. In the context menu, you can, uh, you know, you can remove the duplicates. If you think uh, this column should not have any duplicates, then you can remove duplicate and remove empty. Okay, if you have any empty records, you can remove it. Okay, and remove errors. For example, I just try with the remove empty. Let's see what happens. So now if I select a uh, unit sold, empty is zero, it shows zero. Okay, and um, fine. here it is showing nothing. There is nothing. So this is how you can remove the empty. I just undo this one. Remaining three records should be, the point here is uh, these three values should have been displayed in the empty thing, right? So empty is, now it shows three, right? I don't know what is wrong here. So one, two, three, something wrong. Earlier we saw two, right? For init sold. Can someone confirm me? Sagar, did you notice that? So earlier we saw two here in the unit sold. Empty was three, two. Now it shows correctly three. And when I select, uh, now all the confusion is gone. Yes, it was two. Yes, Sabinaya, thanks for the confusion. I don't know what, why the confusion was. And active was showing the empty as five. Yeah, now, uh, th now the empty is different. Five, three, four, and five. Yes, correct. <clears throat> And date of birth, it shows. See, sometimes, um, you know, you need to play around with this. You cannot literally go by this one also. Because when, when I selected it first time, it was showing only two. And after I just did this, remove empty. And then I when I undone this, it is doing it correctly. I don't know. So something wrong here. I never posed this issue. Almost I took uh, 36 batches. I don't know. So um, we could see the column statics, okay, and the column statics uh, that have zeros and eight nulls, and also the statistical functions, the average and standard deviation, and we can see the distribution, even and odd number for the quantitative variables. But when you select active, you cannot see the average because it is a true or false. There is no point in taking average um, or a standard deviation, right? So, but still a distribution holds good. And when you select a data bar, we can see MT1, correct. It is doing it perfectly. It's showing it correctly. And all the dates are completely different. It is unique and distinct. And we don't see any duplicate at all here. <clears throat> Minimum date, maximum date, count is nine. Everything is fine. So we have <clears throat> explored the column quality and then the column distribution. I'll just uh, select this one, column distribution. So you know, just beneath this, when you select uh, the column distribution, you can see the distribution here. So with this itself, we can understand how many distinct values are, how many unique. So the more the uh, value, uh, seven distinct, just this one, right? And six unique values are, and uh, six distinct, oh, this is something like your, uh, this one, the distribution, for example. One second. This is not uh, related to the distinct or uh, this, this the chart is one second. If you select this column, <clears throat> which one is taller one? Baron, right? Of this six, the taller one is. So with this, we can understand, uh, you know, uh, only one value uh, you know, is occurring, uh, you know, more number of time than other values. This is the distribution. And units sold also, you can see that uh, one value is occurring more number of time. Look here, 10. If you want to see what is this one, here you can see the 10. 10, 10 is appearing more than uh, one time because here and here we can see that. And when you see the sales, you can see that almost it is kind of, a, you know, the uniform distribution. This is called your uniform distribution. <clears throat> but the reason, you see here, it is not about 
uh, it is not showing the distribution with respect to the magnitude okay it shows only the number of occurrence you need to think that way okay if this is appearing only one time all the values are occurring only one time if there are no duplicate but in this case 10 is occurring more than once number of occurrences okay don't think uh, the, say 15 is bigger why it is putting a taller bar here it is not about the value which one is bigger which one is smaller smaller the number of occurrences frequency only number of time 10 is occurring so if you see this you can understand which value is occurring more than especially in the case of uh, text data which is very much helpful baron so if you have uh, let's say region column when you select this with this itself you can understand this region we can see more number of transactions i'm back just by looking at this you should be able to gain an insight so that is where the distribution is very much helpful in the case of active true is more and the data or everything is same all each and every values appearing only one time we don't see uh, more than one occurrence more than one occurrence so column quality displays the percentage of valid versus uh, error versus empty data that's what we are saying and column distribution it displays the data distribution okay with this we are able to understand uh, you know the number of occurrence of the values uh, in your columns and column profile it shows us the it gives us the in-depth overview of the column right the so count of rows and if there were errors uh, while importing the data in the specific column right um, you can see the errors here okay errors here so that is where uh, the column profile is very much helpful with this you, you know you can find out any errors or something like that okay and also it gives you the statistics the column profile the column profile it gives you the statistics so the average minimum maximum all the things you can see it here okay fine so we are done with the data profiling